What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, reliable MT, make sure to hit up my sponsor, SafeNBAMT.com. Use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout and stop getting scammed by NBA 2K's pack odds. Hit them up right now. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Bugs, back on another NBA 2K2 on my TV. And guys, today... I'm gonna make my face game a little bit bigger. It looks a little bit better. I'm a little closer to you guys. But yo, what's good, guys? Um, so once again, my Twitter is hacked. So go follow the Twitter down below. My old Twitter at your bugs is not me. It's not hard to realize that. It is a scammer. The way he texts, the vouches, they're old. They're literally old. So go get rid of that old Twitter. Follow the new one, it's down below in the description. I have nothing to do with my old Twitter. It got hacked months ago, probably six months ago. Yeah, but anyways, let's get into this video, man. Uh, we have a lot to talk about here today, boys. A lot to talk about here today. Um, obviously, Kobe Bryant, or no, I do want them all. All right, so listen to this. So, this is what we gotta talk about. All right, um, so pretty much, what I have to talk about is the market, and honestly, I did notice something. So last night, I did put up a couple cards for just bids, because I just didn't feel like looking up their price. I just threw them up for bids. And they sold for substantially cheaper, all right? Like, ridiculously cheaper. So I just figured out a way you guys can make lots and lots and lots of MT. And that is literally one of the ways, just bidding on cards. Um, I just got this Patrick Ewing for 59 Is that a snipe? I, honestly, probably not. It's probably not even close to a snipe. But um, I'm telling you right now, guys, bidding on cards is a move and a half. So I got that card for 159 This one up for $16. I'm actually, I actually did get a pretty good snipe on it um, for keeping value-wise. So uh, let's see if I got him. I did end up getting this card for 15900 So I just got a 98 overall Patrick Ewing for 15900 With that kind of a three-point shot. Um, amazing defense. This card is absolutely juice. So... Now, I came to the conclusion, I've noticed this whole entire year, like, sniping is so dry. Sniping is so dry. Look at this Jimmy Butler, guys. You can quick sell him for more than 10.75. So, I'm going to put this in your head because not a lot of people do. You're going to make lots and lots of MT just by bidding. And also, if you guys do need MT, hit me up. I am buying and selling MT on Xbox and PS4. Hit me up on Instagram and Twitter. Um, so, that Kevin Durant for 12K, he is in an idle set. He might be very expensive. Um, let's go Thunder. Better. Let's see. All right, that's about his price. So, think about it. Sniping off the bids are gonna give you a very good chance. Now, what do I recommend sniping? Probably Opal Pink Diamond Diamond, and yeah, um, maybe Dark Matter. Dark Matter is definitely very hard to snipe. But yesterday, guys, someone got my Dark Matter or not my Dark Matter, my Galaxy Opal RJ Barrett. For freaking uh, 18k, I don't know if that's his price, but 18k seems a little cheap. Um, so definitely pay attention to bids, man. Honestly, just go through the filters, just see what's going on. You do have to know most pricing. Most pricing is gonna be hard. Uh, but yo, this Jaden McDaniels is pretty good. His defense is kind of ass though. Um, just definitely pay attention to bids, man. See what's ending soon. There was a lot of snipes last night, and not only that, at the nighttime when not a lot of people are on, like at Eastern. Like, uh, let's say 1 o'clock Eastern, you're up. Go on the auction. Try to bid snipe, man. Go to your amethyst filter. This is going to make you lots and lots of MT. Uh, I literally noticed it yesterday when I put up those cards for dirt cheap. They literally sold for literally nothing. Uh, my curry sold for like 50K. He's going for way more than 50K. A lot of cards sold for very, very cheap. I did put them up late at night because I just wanted MT on my belt. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much how I've noticed people were making MT off me yesterday. It was kind of crazy. Um, I'm going to pop this pack. Which pack? Uh, let's pop this one real quick. These packs are kind of ass. I haven't pulled anything really out of these packs. We just get a diamond right there. Diamonds are literally terrible. They don't sh they don't deserve to shake anymore. The only cards that deserve shake are opals and dark matters. In my opinion, because diamonds and pink diamonds are no longer worth anything. And I think that's Tyrese Halliburton, the guy that I did tell you to consistently invest in or consistently watch his price because this card is actually very, very good. He has very good stats. Definitely pay attention to Tyrese Halliburton. And honestly, guys, I'm going to go over a couple other things, man. And one of them is going to be Mr. Giannis Antetokounmpo. Um, you got to pay attention to his price because he is in super packs. You have to pay attention to his price. His price is going to go up. His price is going to go down. His price is going to go up. His price is going to go down. That's just how it's been. Mr. Giannis Antetokounmpo, you just got to pay attention to that price. 
the only thing is, I think they are going to release a new Giannis, like, possibly this week. Because, as you guys do know, this Giannis is OP. But they haven't released, like, an insane, insane Giannis. This card is insane. Don't get me wrong. It's probably one of the... In my opinion, it's the best center power forward in the game. Honestly, people are going to disagree. But they're going to release another one. He's only 98. They're going to release probably two to three more. Uh, one of them is probably going to be a point guard one. So, yeah. Definitely pay attention, though. That card is too cheap. He's too good. They're probably going to come out with a better one. But just trust me, guys. That card is still too good. Uh, this Anthony Edwards is kind of ass. Dark Matter card. Let's check out the Dark Matter filter. Bosch is still the only Dark Matter. And I really think, why is Bosch still... Oh, a buyout. Like, I thought this Chris Bosch is pretty solid. I don't know why he's so, like, low in value. This card's good all around. He has great badges. Why are people not a fan of the Rex, man? This card's goaded. So, I don't know, man. Right now, Dark Matter Filter's falling. Everything's honestly just falling down. And honestly, I think the best way right now is just bidding it out. This might be one of the best ways to make MT right now. This Jonathan Isaac slept on. Definitely try to try to get him for a good value. But, yo, that's really all I got for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy, man. It's not that much to talk about. 2K is getting towards the end. We also have a new pink diamond over here. But yeah, guys, I don't know. 2K, there's not that much to talk about. Uh, I guess we'll end it off by popping a Kobe pack and actually pulling Kobe Bryant and making 3 mil MT. So here we go. Oh, why the diamonds? All right, listen. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, follow the new Twitter, follow Instagram, all that good stuff. Who's our player? Probably LaMelo, Eastern 94. Tyrese? No, he's, he's Western. Is that T-Mac? I'm going to take that because I didn't pull him yet. So anyways, boys, have a good one. Peace.